Hi everyone. Hello guys, welcome back to my blog. Today is June 5th, 2019. In just a couple of minutes, Nintendo will be live streaming their direct presentation featuring the upcoming Nintendo Switch titles, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. So once again, just like in a vlog probably two or three weeks ago, when Nintendo had their Super Mario Maker 2 Nintendo Direct presentation. In this vlog, get ready to witness my Nintendo Direct Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield reactions. So like I said, it's just another couple of minutes. This also got me thinking that with this Direct, just for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, I'm willing to bet that Nintendo's upcoming Direct presentation for E3 2019 might not have any footage at all for Pokemon Sword and Shield. That means maybe they might have some new Pokemon information during E3 2019, but then again, last week they had their Pokemon press conference and they already announced a few new titles there, so maybe Nintendo's direct presentation for E3 2019, they might not have any Pokemon games at all. We'll see when that direct presentation comes next week. But right now, let's see what Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield has in store for us. Can't wait. I think it's been like February, which was the last time that we got a uh, our first footage of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, so this is going to be all new to us. Oh, another thing. My computer tends to have these certain error occurrences during live streams for some reason, so excuse that. Here we go! Welcome to Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Choo choo! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Oh jeez. <laughs> Godzilla Choo! <laughs> Or Rizilla. <laughs> I thought the field would be like when you play Pokemon Soccer and not just battles. There's a Charizard right behind him. This Pokemon's defining characteristic is its fluffy fur. Looks like Marip has a cousin now. This Pokemon here is Gossifleur. What? The flowering Gossifleur? He or she has previously visited. Corviknight. It's the Edgar Allan Poe bird. Some Pokemon. It becomes Eldegoss. Its head As looks like a see, giant dinosaur egg. <laughs> its fuzzy head. Be careful not to hatch it. You have control over the camera, allowing you to better search for items and Pokemon. Whoa! Search far and wide in the tall grass. That's actually a first. <laughs> even in the lakes. For you I think that's the one thing. Find that people wanted the in whole time in a 3D Pokemon a game. Region, a a free-for-all camera. That makes a Pokemon That's a big plus to me. And gives it so, Dynamax is Dynamax like Mega Evolution, but only lasts for three Pokemon turns. Got it. Games. Max rate battle, so it looks like they're trying to... Oh, there's a beware! But anyways, it looks like they're trying to incorporate raid battles from World of Warcraft. So coordinating with your team will be crucial when taking on these powerful uh, Giant beware! Uh, get him off the screen! If you and your ally in a region where Pokemon battles are so widely Maybe enjoyed, I should have facial hair like his. So your rival's name is Hop. Do you know what his daughter should be? Score Bunny. A great deal of and specializes in researching the Magnolia sounds like the uh, Sonia is the TV brand or something like that. Assistant. I have one more video I would like you to see. One last clip. Please take a look. Probably the two legendary Pokemon of the game. We'll see, though. Is that Solgaleo? No, someone different. Almost looks like Solgaleo, though. Legendary Pokemon of the Gala region, called Zacian and Zamazenta. Finally, I would like to announce the release date. Oh, oh, oh. Pokemon Sword 
and Pokemon Shield. I'll sink in mid November. November 15th. Thank you for watching. Pretty cool direct presentation. The free for all camera is probably the best part of the game. I think this is what we all wanted in a 3D Pokemon game, and we're finally getting it, so that is so awesome. Also, Zamazenta is easily the better looking of the two legendary Pokemon, not to start an argument or anything, but it's just because the other one is holding a sword in its mouth, which I kind of find a little bit weird. But I think the Dynamax battles look pretty interesting, and like I said a little bit halfway through the direct, that those max raid battles are similar to those of World of Warcraft, where it's a bunch of people fighting against one boss, so it's very interesting to see how that plays. Now it's just too bad that the Pokemon Stadiums, which are the Pokemon Gyms in the game, are just for gym battles only, and I was hoping there would be some type of like extra mini game, like Pokemon Soccer or something like that, but no. It's kind of a shame, but I mean, I can't really wish too much for that. But, oh yeah, I'm not going to get the double pack. I'm only getting one game, which is Pokemon Shield. So it's going to be a five-month wait, but it'll be worth the wait. I mean, I haven't even played the World of Light campaign on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate yet. Oh, speaking of Smash Bros. Ultimate, we are due to see the revealing of the second DLC character from the Fighters Pass. I'm willing to bet that we'll get that revealing next week during the, the uh, Nintendo Direct presentation for E3 2019 on Tuesday, June 11th, I think. I think, yeah, Tuesday, June 11th, because today's the 5th, Wednesday, June 11th. Okay, that's going to do it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe for more, and don't forget to check out my gaming channel, Marcus B. Gaming, for video game let's play content. I will see you later, but until then, like always, take care.